In the beginning was the Word, the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was with God in the beginning. Through Him all things came to be. Not one thing had its being but through Him. All that came to be had life in Him, and that life was the light of men, a light that shined in the dark, a light that darkness could not overpower. The Word was the true light that enlightens all men, and He was coming into the world. He was in the world that had its being through Him, and the world did not know Him. He came to His own domain, and His own people did not accept Him. But all who did accept Him, He gave power to become children of God. To all who believe in the name of Him, who was born not out of human stock, or urge of the flesh, or will of men, but of God Himself. The Word was made flesh, He lived among us, and we saw His glory, the glory that is His, as the only Son of the Father, full of grace and truth. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. I don't know how many of you uh, watch movies, but this is not a new movie. This one came out in the early 2000s, from 2001 to 2003. It's a trilogy called The Lord of the Rings. Uh, it's a very epic book that was made into a movie, and uh, if you have a chance, do watch it, because it's essentially a tale of the battle between good and evil. Now just, for those who have not watched the movies, okay, I'll just give you a short description because I want to link it to this, today's uh, reading. Now, the story is basically about a group of different people tasked to destroy this evil ring that gave uh, evil powers to the one who wears it. So along the way, there were nine of them, and in one of their stops, they were given weapons and things of sort that could help them in their journey. So some got rope, some got swords and stuff like that. But the main character got only a like small vial of what looked like clear liquid. And what he was told was, this is uh, the light, that, the, the name of the light. And then it says, the, 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 the person who gave this uh, gifts, he said, this is their most beloved star. May it help him when all lights have failed. And indeed, when he, this, this main character was trapped in a cave, he was led into a cave and trapped there, total darkness, with a giant spider trying to kill him. He remembered those words and took out the light. And the light was so bright that even everything uh, was illuminated. And the spider really also sh shook away from it. Now, why do I bring up this movie? It's because the imagery of light is always one that is portrayed in many either books or literature in where good and evil come at loggerheads. Light and darkness are two opposites. But sometimes we feel that the darkness is so oppressive, darkness is so dark that we don't even see anything. And in the light of recent events in the world leading up to Christmas, it is rather bleak because we, we see so many things happening in the world. And yet, we still find reason to rejoice, not because of the various things that happen in the world, because we know that whatever happens, the light of Christ still remains with us. And this is what the Gospel tells us today. Christ is that light that overpowers everything. He is the light of all light that overcomes not only physical darkness, but spiritual darkness. Because many times when we think of salvation, we think of redemption, we think of physical redemption. We want the world to be a better place, of course. Everyone wants to live a good and happy life. This is why when the Jews were waiting for their Messiah, they were hoping for one who will be born to liberate them into freedom so that they don't have to worry about oppression and everything. 
and they are still waiting for their Messiah. But God's plan is different because in the beginning, we were with God. Adam and Eve was created in the garden to be with God forever. It was because of the disobedience that they were cast out. And this sin has remained with us, this disobedience. Like it or not, all of us have that streak of disobedience in us. Uh, whether we like to admit it or not, it is there. But because we are created by God, deep within us, deep within the recesses of our soul, as the Catechism of the Catholic Church teaches us, it tells us that deep within, all of us long to be with God together again because we are made by Him and for Him. And we will not be able to go back to Him unless the gates of heaven are open again. And this is where the light of Christ opens the way for us, from darkness into light. And like the star mentioned in the movie, this is the light of all lights, the light that shines when all other lights fail. Because it is the light that not only outshines the darkness of the physical world, but it shine, outshines the darkness of our souls. Very often we find ourselves in despair, sadness, being challenged, being burdened by the trials of life. But when we welcome Christ into our hearts, of course life may still go on, it will not be any better or maybe just slightly better, but we know that we are able to carry on because of the light within us. And this is what we are celebrating, the light of Christ, the birth of Christ into the, our heart and soul to burn away all the darkness of our lives and to bring us into the wonderful light of God. And this joy that we find, we should share it with others as well. It's not just about having parties and going caroling, all those are well and good because we bring joy and cheer to the people around us. But the most important thing is to bring that light that we have received at Christmas and to let it shine through us into the darkness of the lives of others. Just like John the Baptist who came to pave the way for Jesus to be the witness to the light. So we too should become a witness to the light to bring that light to others so that they too can see and feel the effects of this light. We are not the light, so we should not outshine the light of Christ. But we just be like the mirror that reflects the light of Christ into the darkness of people's lives. And so on this day of Christmas, we re truly rejoice for salvation is given to us. Redemption has once again been given to us. And we pray that we'll continue to appreciate this gift from God and to always nourish this light within us so that in every day of our life, not just Christmas, not just after Christmas, but every day of our life, to the people that we meet, we can shine that light to others so that they may too may see the goodness of God.